Hi, and today we will be learning how to use the PH Pro. Firstly, sign out the PH Pro by writing your name, class, and the PH Pro serial number. When signing out for the Pro, inspect the bulb to verify that it is intact before leaving the sign out point in the presence of the lab technician or teacher. After leaving the sign out point, you are responsible for the PH Pro. Secondly, to set up the PH Pro, Connect the wireless adapter to the PH Pro. Loosen the screw cap and gently pull the probe out of the cap and valve. Set the storage file aside and do not pour out the buffer solution. To calibrate the PH Pro, launch the Spark View app and select Remote Logging. Press the power button and connect your phone to the PH Pro via Bluetooth. The LED should display a single red flash to signal that the PH probe is turned on. Select Build a new experiment and select your desired layout. Select the Select Measurement option and choose the PH probe with the correct serial number. On the bottom left hand corner of the screen, select the pull up bar and choose Calibrate Measurement. Make sure the calibration type is set to Two point adjust slope and offset and press continue. For each standard pH value of 4 and 10, immerse the pH probe in the respective standard solutions for about 30 seconds and press set calibration. Select OK when both standard values have been calibrated. Now you may carry on with your experiment. When operating the PH Pro, do take note of these precautions. Firstly, take special care of the glass bulb and protective prong. The glass bulb is very fragile and the breakage price is $118. Secondly, beware of rims of beakers and conical flasks when immersing the PH probe in any solution. Thirdly, ensure that the PH probe is always in a stable position. Fourth, when the pH probe is not in use, make sure it is immersed in a beaker of tap water. Before immersing the pH probe in any solution or liquid, wash the immersion area, especially the bulb, with tap water and rinse with deionized water before shaking off the excess water. When the experiment is completed, repeat the aforementioned washing procedure and gently screw the storage valve back onto the pH probe. Long press the power button to turn off the pH probe and disconnect the wireless adapter returning all components back to the box. Return the box to the lab technician or teacher for them to check and countersign.